Okay, hopefully we are connected. Um, not sure, I'm just going to have a quick look, make sure that the, all the bit rate and all of that malarkey is okay. Mm. Make this window a little bit bigger as well. There we go. Okay, and let's go into multiplayer. Do a auto match, and we'll start with a three-player. I like the three-player games because it just comes around quicker, doesn't it? You, you know, every time you roll the dice, or whatever, uh, so you get quicker round. Um, oh, we're all pretty much reasonable karma there. You get karma basically. You retain your karma. Everybody starts off with five stars, but you lose karma in Catan Universe if you drop out of games because you're not winning basically um, so it's all about sticking out the game oh it's a uh, thingy seafarers one so it's a mix of um, cities and knights where you get this barbarian raid and seafarers where you have to construct boats and work your way across the island in fact is the one that I've never won at and that's this this one is is basically where you when you cross the island you end up taking the number tokens off the central island and then moving them to the outer island and there's a whole set of rules that I've never quite got my head around about which tokens you can take and when so like here where is it? The, the numbers six and eight may not lie adjacent to each other. You can break those rules, but you have to break them in a certain order. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, I could do with stone and hay. I'm going to go, even though number four and ten's equal. I think I'm going to go this way because I've got a better chance of. Oh, I shouldn't have gone. For, should have gone for the number ten. Actually, that was silly. Really. Um, I'm going to go for that way anyway, um, because I was thinking I'd get closer to those two islands. But if I'd have got on the number ten, I could have doubled my. I could have traded hay for two to one, right? And then that guy's nicked the spot. I was really well. He sort of blocked the spot I was hoping for, which was going to be here. So I do need sheep, and I do need logs to be able to build boats so I'm going to put my city there now the reason I put my city there is um, basically it awards me your second place settlement you get one of each of the resources you place your settlement on so this way I've got a log and a sheep on well I was about to say relatively low numbers really but they're not that low I I, it's hard to really I could have probably done with putting my city on the hay to be honest because that that four is is a low number I mean that's a low chance of coming up really so yeah I think in retrospect the city would have been better off there um red's got the right idea city on the hay aiming for that um hay exchange oh a tent's come up as well he's got two hay well done red um yeah it's a bit crowded around here. Everybody's after the logs, obviously. We all seem to have a good shot at logs and sheep. So nothing's given at this stage. Um, I, I might as well drop a knight on, on the board in a second then. Now, I think I'm going to drop my knight near the bricks because I'm, I'm really keen to protect the bricks. I, I would typically try and protect my wheat um, because you know without wheat you, you've got problems you can't reactivate knights and therefore you lose cities etc but I think I, I, I really do need some some bricks um, I'll end up dropping a settlement on that four and the two down there um, and that that will soon turn into a city so Oh look at that ten paying off again. He's not gonna want he's not gonna want logs for that for that hay, so I'm gonna struggle to get hay, actually, I think. 
We're all going to lose a city at this rate. It's not looking good. I haven't got any bricks, I'm afraid. I'd love to have some bricks. Maybe I can just sneak in a um, progress card. If a 5 or a 9 comes up. Oh, look at the state of that. Now look, what are the chances of you giving me a hay for a log? All right. All I'm asking for is one hay. Just one little hay. Come on. Red said no. How about two logs for a hay? Come on, Red. Come on. You know I'm desperate. He's thinking about it. Oh, he's done it. Right. Well, I'm not losing a city, hopefully. Fingers crossed. And I've got a progress card as well. Great. Um, the, everybody goes for the science progress cards. And, and blue's certainly a bit more dramatic, because blue's all about mess, you know, messing with your opponent, basically. Oh, I've got a hay now. Um, but actually, I think early game, these um, yellow ones, which I think are, are the merchant, maybe, merchant building progress cards, I think they're the most useful early game. Um, there we go. But yes, yeah, so if, I, if I have the choice, I'd go for the science ones. Oh, that's red lost quite a significant chunk of his hand. Now, I, I'm i sort of putting Red in the lead here, just just basically on the number of resources that Red's managed to acquire. Um, so I think Red's got a good shot, really. And Red's lost a city. I'm going to get that knight reactivated before anybody takes that hay off me. Okay, that, that's that. I think on, in a normal game of cities and knights, that can really sting you. I'm not so sure how that goes down when it's this sort of seafarers type mix. What's this called? Mm, it says Greater Catan. 20 victory points. This is going to be a long old game. Right. You, you can take. Um, a number token. Let's just have a look at these because because I've absolutely um, done myself over by by sort of colonising these islands and having to take number tokens off myself. So six and eight can't be next to each other on a small island. The number token must come from a land hex adjacent to a settlement or city of the active player. That's the difficulty. So like I can get rid of the two and the eleven, maybe, you know. But yeah. It's a bit annoying really. So you know, in the, in this scenario maybe I'd get rid of the five to really um affect brown and red. Come on, red, what are you doing? Decisions, decisions. Um Oh oh it's a it's a weak Wi Fi. Now look this happens a lot, okay, where somebody's not done well at early game and there's one or two things that get, seems to go on, right? And I, I'm, I might be cynical here, but one of the things that occurs is they drop out, all right? That's quite a regular thing. And the other thing is, I, I think because your karma gets penalised when you drop out, I mean, Red's doing well. I think what some people do is they just sort of turn off the Wi-Fi or something. And so it doesn't really... Presumably, that doesn't then penalise your karma. But just means you don't have to sit through the game. At some point, then, I think I think there's two, two rounds, maybe, somebody was telling me on this. Two rounds where they don't perform any action, so they just get auto-kicked. Well, that's... I mean... In a way, that's one opponent down for me, but that's not, you know, I'm, I'm wanting to play, because then they get replaced by the AI, and it's not really AI. Um, we we regularly, um, when, we're, when we're playing and we're, there's not enough of us to make up a, 
a game, because minimum players is three, so when there's just two of us, we'll put a third player on as the AI. We've never, we've never played it with two and two AI, but and we regularly pick the best AI on this on this game, um, which I think is the master one. It's the third one down, and it's and it's rubbish. It's absolutely rubbish. It'll sit there with twenty four cards in its hand and lose them all to the robber and stuff. So I'm not really wanting to play against the the AI. Come on, Red. You're doing well. I mean, uh, even at this stage, Red's on two points. But look at the resource gathering. Red's got 11 cards in his hand. I've got one. And that's not because I've spent my resources. I've only bought one knight and activated it. That's just a sheep, stone and a hay. You know, so I, I would put my money on Red um, this game. So I don't know why Red's bottled it. Oh well. Then what? Then what will happen is, oh, um, maybe Brown will stop doing so well. I mean, this is what I usually experience. Brown doesn't do too well. I forgot to roll the dice then. Um, and um, as a consequence, um, Brown will quit out as well. It's a bit frustrating. Yeah, so look, I've landed that merchant card. That's going to be really useful in a second because I'm I'm missing out on bricks uh, completely here. So um, I'm going to really need to trade up for, for some bricks. Uh, it's nice that I'm in the clear with... Um, no, sorry, mate. Um, even if I had a hay, you weren't getting it. Although I might have to give Brown a hay just to keep Brown happy and in the game. We'll see. Um, yeah, so that merchant card's so handy. Um, and there's a few of those in this in this pile of yellow cards, these, these building progression cards, um, to start trading up. I will, in Knights and Cities, or Cities and Knights, I don't know why I call it the other way around, I, I personally, I'm, I'm happy to forego a resource. I will always prioritise stone, wheat, and sheep, and I don't. For some reason, I suppose the order of priority for me is in in a game of cities and knights is wheat, stone, sheep, logs. Um, now, why didn't I prioritise wheat this time round? Because Brown had already taken the the eight wheat. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Had Red already, maybe Red had already placed there. No, Red had must have placed their settlement there. So I don't know why I didn't go for this, really. Because um, that 11 stone's not worth a great deal. But yeah, maybe that would have been a much better option, actually. So I don't know why I didn't go down here, to be honest. I think I just had my sights on this island, up this way. But yeah, I'll always prioritise... Wheat, stone, sheep, logs, and then bricks, really. Um, look, well, actually, I prioritise... Well, it, it's a difficult one. Bricks are useful to get those city city walls built, so you can retain you know, more cards in your hand and not worry about how many cards you've got in your hand. But actually, do, the trouble is, it doesn't really look at this... So, oh yeah, so that's red. Red's still, red's now officially out of the game. Mm, got a stone. On my way to a second city, hopefully. Oh, brown's got the hay. Um, I'm on eight cards, so it's a bit of a difficult one. I think... I mean... I don't really want to put myself ahead of Brown at this stage, so I don't want to really upgrade that knight. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap in... Um, I think I'm going to swap two sheep. Let's get these two sheep for... Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's go for that. I'll explain that in a second. There we go. Right. I went for the coins because the first progress, city progress element you develop, I think that increases your chance of receiving a card 
you know, it's all about when the dice is rolled, isn't it? So if it if it's not a black ship, it, 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 there's a 50% chance, it's a six-sided dice, 50% chance three of the sides of the black ship. The other three sides are a... Ooh, do I want to give you a log? No, do I want a log for a stone? No, thanks. Um, do I want to shoot? No, I don't want to be giving away my stones at this stage. I want to be getting a city over here. Thank you very much. Um, let's just get my dice rolled. Okay, and do this upgrade. One seven cards. I wish I'd put that merchant on my logs. Um, anybody want a log for a hay? I'll do that. I'll happily swap a rooney at that. Okay. Right. Yeah, basically I upgraded the blue, um, progressed the blue I should say, because that's a, that gives me a 5% chance, whereas if I'd added another progress sort of level to one of these, it only increases my chance of getting a card by 2.5%, so it's, it's sort of more value for money by upgrading the blue. Of course it was going to go on me. Uh, I am in the lead. Oh yeah, because I've got that merchant. Oh, 11. Wait. What's up in there? Who, who's lost the city? We were defeated, so who lost the city? It wasn't me. Oh, is it red? I, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, let's just get this dice rolled. See what we've got in store. Oh. Oh, it looks like I might do well with the old science progress cards. Now I've got four stones and no hay, that's a bit frustrating. Nobody's going to be swapping me a, a stone for a... Oh, it'd be lovely. You know what, I'm going <sighs> to... This is silly, but... Right, I'm going to take a chance here. I don't think I'm going to get hay at any significant rate, and even if I do get one hay, right? I need to spend that on my night. So I need, and I need two hays for a city. I'm aiming to upgrade that settlement to a city. Oh, I have got my hay, haven't I now? But I thought it's better spent trying to improve. Oh, look at this. I've got all my hay back now. Right, I'm going to play this. Trying to improve that. And that way I get a free card every time... I don't get a resource off a roll. I'm going to save that irrigation till I've got three stones in my hand because nobody, well, no, they've all progressed their blues actually, so there, there's a good chance they could be. Look at that. Let's get, let's, you know what? Let's, let's get that on the go. Not worry about stones yet. Oh, yes, okay. So I think the first five number tokens that are on the, the develop on the island. Oh, I've got another hay now. I shouldn't complain, but. I could do with a sheep, Aronel. Can, will you give me a sheep for a log? No. The first five number tokens come from this random pool, I think. Oh, I've got my sheep. Right, what I do need now is get that upgraded. This is great. I'm doing well on the old upgrades now. Um, will you do me a log for a brick? That would be sweet. No. Will you do me, anybody, a hay for a brick? Come on. No. Okay. Oh, I don't want to. Oh, I thought I'd played that. In which case, I'm going to play that there. Oh, only one knight's activated at the moment. I don't, I think, I'm sure Red's got hay. Oh, red's not going to activate their knights. So it's just brown, really. Has brown forgotten to activate a knight there? Probably. 
That's not good news, is it? But then the city's not in the most worthwhile spot. That's frustrating for me because they've taken my opportunity now to put a settlement down there. So they're going to really dominate that island. But I've got this island over to the top right. Oh, um, I've got this island. No, not interested in giving away my brick. I don't have a brick income at the moment to play about with. So, oh, good for good for them. I'm going to go for another sheep, and the reason I'm going to do that is because I want to drop a settlement here. And I'm going to drop a thingy here, a ship over here. I've still got another... Oh, I've ended up with another merchant card, not paying attention. Okay, at least it's coming off my eight stone. Because that's my focus now. Stick it on brown, please. Oh, that's mean. Oh no, you, it is brown. Plain. So, okay, the brown ones are going to stick it on themselves. So that's that's scuppered me now for for building uh, ships across the island. And obviously activated their knights. Oh, you know what? This is this is looking good for me in terms of being able to get that upgraded to a city ASAP. If I build a settlement on that one little brick patch, I get two points. So every time you build a settlement on an island, you get two points. So I think I'm going to be heading this way to the west. Um, no thanks. I'm going to be heading this way to the west, build a settlement there, and then hopefully get settlements on those two islands. Why did I miss out on a blue? It's not fair. Right. Um, could do with now you know what I'm just gonna keep hold of that brick because I can either trade two bricks in ah oh, look at that I'm still I'm losing out on stone like nobody's business I'm, I've been double robbed the ship and the robber Ooh, let's go for a green it's a bit silly really, but oh well that's going to help me get to that second city status quite quickly. Oh, I've got it now. I'll be having that merchant back off you in a second. I'll pull that merchant onto my logs and then I'll do two logs for a stone with the medicine card. That gives me a city. Throw the irrigation in there and I'm on for activating my knight as well. Oh, you know, I would have had so much stone. Right, in fact I don't need to activate my knight. All I need to do is get another brick. No oh, thanks. Oh, that would have been handy actually. Um, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's go for that then. That sounds good to me. Don't have to use that merchant card then. Right. Let's build that there. Okay, so. Let's see if anybody will take a hay for a sheep. No. Hay for wool. Okay, I'm going to play the medicine card. I'm going to upgrade that to a city. So instead of it costing three stone and two wheat, it now costs two stone and one wheat. Um, got five cards in my hand. I'm going to I'm going to build this over here. Really could do with a. I'll be able to put a settlement on there in a second. I really could do with a knight over on this side of the board here. Right, I've got my sheep. Great. Um, I could do the knight over there to kick that robber away because that's that's really doing me some harm at the moment. Um, and the same on this side as well. I mean, I, I just all I need to do is just get one ship across there. That's it. I can build a settlement over that way. I think I'm not a hundred percent sure with this ship. I think that is blocking me doing anything with ships. I think you can't move ships. I think you can't build ships. It's a nuisance. 
Now the only way to get that ship away without a knight or rolling a seven is a bishop card, and I think a bishop card's blue, so there is a chance I can get a bishop card. Oh, commercial harbour, that, that, that's a nice card at times. Okay, first state of that. Let's see who else has got... Oh, just you. Let's see what you've got to give me. I'm giving you a sheep, because you've already got a sheep. Oh, okay, you've got that to give me. What I can do now is I can... Let's get the merchant over here. I'm rushing to sort of what do I what do I want to upgrade? I, I'm sort of why are the opportunities there? Oh, this is a silly play actually. I don't know why I moved that merchant. I'm going to build my settlement over this way, right? I could have really. I've really left myself in a silly position actually. I should have prioritised getting the Metropolis, so that's the, the sort of level four unlock of things. I've got it now, as long as somebody doesn't steal a paper off me or, or roll a seven. So that's that's good news. Wow, Brown's got some good numbers on that island over there. Brown is certainly doing really rather quite well. I've also got the, um, I'm on a good path for, I could do with a hay, yeah. Mm. You want a hay, do you, Red? Yeah, let's go for it. Let's have a hay off you. Um, yeah, Brown's doing well, I have to say. Okay. I've got my engineer. Let's stick my engineer down there. That's the city I don't want to lose at the moment. Okay, two logs for a stone. Drop a knight in here. Activate that knight. Activate that knight. I've got two knights on the go. really caught up with brown point wise I'm not I'm not so much it's 20 points at this stage I'm not so much worried about points uh, red's definitely not worried about points oh the inventor card that's lovely right that will really cause brown some pain in a second um, somebody really wants a stone don't they no. Uh, I think I'm going to swap the five and the two. No, I can't swap a two. That's frustrating. Um, I'm going to have to swap the 11, but that's going to help Brown out. I really want to cause Brown some, some harm because Brown's significantly in the lead here. I'm going to have to upgrade my hay. I mean, it's the only way. Um, let's, let's, let's do a... Yeah, let's get myself a hay. Oh, great. Okay, so I've got rid of... I can get rid of two now. So I'm going to, I'm going to get rid of the ship here. Take off brown. I'm also going to get rid of this robber here. And take off brown over here. That's great stuff. I'm going to reactivate this knight. And now I'm going to play the inventor card. But I haven't got anything to swap really, so... Hay is always my shortfall. I'm going. I'm going to sort of 
Is that all I can swap? Just those squares there? That's a bit rubbishy. Okay, well... Don't really want to swap any of those, to be honest. Oh, I've played my merchant card like a fool. Oh, okay. Right, just before my go ended. That was ridiculous. Okay, well, let's, let's help Brown out with hay or wheat. It was dreadful, really. I just there's no way I could sort of give myself a boost. Oh, now that's nice. I've got a second city gym then. There's no way I could give myself a boost without helping Brown out. And you know, I'm sort of tempted to cut my nose off to spy my face. <laughs> that's that's the nature of the game. Okay, well that's paid off. Putting that nine over there instead of that horrible four. Oh, look at that. Okay, so mm, let's get a brick. Why not? I don't seem to have many bricks. Now let's get a boat over here. Select a number token off the board. Yeah, I'm going to select the 11. Okay, great. And now I'm going to put another thing down here. Select a number token off the board. This is really going to scupper brown, isn't it? And myself. Okay, that's great. Oh, but I have got now, I'm in a beautiful position where I can, now let me think about this. I'll play that medicine card. Upgrade that. Ah, this is craziness. Um, I really need a sheep or a stone. Myself and Brown are going to lose a city each. But I can cope with that because... just have done with it. Let's just hope Brown hasn't got a... Um... I'm going to go for a sheep there. Let's hope Brown hasn't got a deserter card. Well, it doesn't matter actually. If... Yes, it does actually matter if Brown's got a deserter card. Because then he steals my knight, gets three knights, strength of three, and I will lose my city. Basically, in case you're sort of new to Catan, um, You've got to have more knights point value on the board than the barbarian strength. So the barbarian strength at the moment is five, governed by the number of cities on the board. There's one, two, three, four, five cities. No thanks. Um, there's a chance that I won't roll a black ship, and I haven't. Excellent. Okay. So... I can now upgrade a knight and take the points, but I actually don't want to. I'd rather us two did lose a city each. Oh no, I can still upgrade the knights. I can swap two of these. Okay, I will take the point then. Okay, so I've got a strength of three knights. Brown's got a strength of two knights. So, just to go through this. The Barbarian Raid, right, that ship moves along one every time the dice is rolled and it's got a black ship on it. And by the time it reaches here, the Barbarians have a certain strength and that's determined by the number of cities. So there's five cities on the board. One, two, three, 
four, five. And then it's defended by the strength of the knights. There's one, two, three, four, five knights. So five knights will defend five barbarians. Ergo, everybody keeps the city, etc. And the person who defends the most is the defender of Catan and gets a victory point. In this situation, that looks like it might be me. Unless there's two equal defenders and they get to draw a progress card each. Okay. Um, if you don't defend it, then the person who contributed the least loses a city. Now, if I had upgraded that knight, that would have been both me and Brown lost a city. Which I would, would have been happy with, actually, in a way. That might have been more damaging for Brown than me getting that victory point. Because all that victory point's done is put me marginally in the lead. Now, if Brown's got a load of... Um, He sabotaged me, you see? I, well, I'll just get rid of the brick. Now, if Brown's got a load of blue cards that sort of, you know, get the players in front of them, etc., sabotage them. Oh, that's annoying. I would rather pick... Yeah, I'll swap a hay for a brick any day. It's just not worth being in the lead by one point. It just puts you in the firing line, basically. Um, I'm going to activate that knight. I'll activate that knight. I need to get. I need to start building some boats now. Well, the bishop's quite a useful card. Stick the bishop on there. Ten. Or on the nine. The nine would be better because red is not really an effect. Uh, red is not really uh, going to be much of a viable. Com opponent this game. I don't know what is going on with Red's game. I know it's the AI, but Christ, it's only on two points. So yeah, I'll stick the I'll stick the, the knight. No, I don't even need to play the bishop card, actually. There's no rush, really, because I'll just wait till they put the thingy on me. Yeah, it's sort of burning a hole in my hand, really, but... Um, I think I'm probably... much more likely than Brown to be getting the Metropolises Metropoli for the coins and the wheat as well. Not the wheat. Cloth. Um, no, I've got enough bricks going on, thank you. That resource monopoly is quite handy. I can't remember what's been rolled. Let's just let's get a load of sheep off Brown. Let's hopefully let's hope that Brown's got loads of sheep. Just two sheep. That's it, really. Okay. Um, let's get a what are we gonna do? I could really do with. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do my merchant fleet, and I'm gonna swap. I'm gonna swap two sheep and six bricks for four cloths, and then I'm just going to get myself a metropolis on the go with this. I'm gonna lock in that one as a metropolis, and then I'm so I am getting sort of fed up of brown building ship so I'm just going to do that that's great what's been rolled a five so remember that brown's got some stone on the go now now there's always a chance that brown can take those metropolises off me if I don't Upgrade them to the level five path, but I don't think that's going to happen. Has Brown got any logs? Probably not. Probably got no logs. That resource monopoly is quite damaging. If it's not the cities and knights game, and you get this resource monopoly card, oh look at the state of this. Um, Oh, 
Where am I going to play this, eh, Brown? I think I'm going to go here. There we go. Now, have you been taking sheep? You have, haven't you? Has Red taken any sheep? Possibly. Let's go for sheep again, then. Two sheep. Thanks, Brown. OK. Let's see if anybody will do a brick for a log. No. OK, let's do two bricks for a coin. Get that, that path upgraded. Start working our way to getting the metropolis for the politics path as well. Spy card. That's pretty evil stuff. The, the, the trick is to try and hold that spy card to when they've got a choice of four. You know, you've got a choice of four of their cards. What's what's absolutely gutting is when somebody plays a spy card on you and takes your spy card, which makes sense as well. Oh, he's deserted me. Well, you're only going to get one knight to level one knight, so don't worry about that too much. Oh, wait, who's deserted me? Red. Oh, Red's going to be stealing a victory point, are you, Red? Good for you. Um, do I want a sheep? No, not really. Do I want a brick for a sheep? Oh, for a stone? No, not really. Okay. Six. What's that yielding? Well, I'm going to get myself one of those. Okay. So, I could. Let's build a ship over here. Let's build a ship over here. Select a number token to be removed from the board. Let's go for the nine. Okay, and the reason I've done that is because I'm vindictive. Um, I'm not going to use that spy card straight away. It's a shame the computer is not smart enough to sort of try and deactivate one of its knights. Um, the reason I did that is bricks are really useful to me right now in this game. With my brick port, the more bricks I've got on the go, the better, basically. Who are you diplomatic? Me? Okay, fine. I'm not too worried about that. That Master Merchant card's pretty good as well. Yeah, you see, yellow does have some good stuff. That resource sort of Monopoly card's pretty good. Um, and um, this Master Merchant takes cards off people as well. stone and coins I feel another city coming on I really don't know how this game would have panned out if Red hadn't bottled it so early I mean it could could be a legitimate Wi-Fi connectivity issue it's just I've seen it so many times though with, with people not doing too well at the beginning that they they then um, hmm I'm, I'm tempted to say n how many knights have you got? I'm tempted to say no on that one, Red. There comes a point where I, I just sort of don't trade at all. I wish I had traded now. 
Okay, so who's going to give me log? Nobody. Well, it's only going to be red that trades for a log, so... Oh, yeah. Why not? Right. So I'll, I'll put that back out there. I'm going to trade these two for another log. That then gives me a settlement here. That some pushes me up on the old victory points. Um, has anybody got any cards in the hand? Nope. Is there anything else I can do? I can just activate that night and that's about it okay should be doing okay now i've got set settlements all over the place um i'm gonna go for a hay settlements all over on the bricks i've got that two to one on the bricks so i should be steaming ahead now fingers crossed big yawn there what are my risks? Well, ooh, that's a risk. What are you stealing? Nothing. Oh, that's gutting that, playing that and getting nothing. I don't know what happened there. Just, it all moved very quickly. Okay, so science bonus. Let's get a stone. Let's play the spy card on Brown, see what Brown's pocketed. The inventor card. Good God, I'm glad I did that. Um, let's do a two bricks for a hay. Let's stick that over on this one because I'm getting both the benefit of the bricks and the hay. Um, let's play this inventor card now. onto brown and brown's not doing great on cities brown's not got great stone income so i've, I've swapped that around a bit um i could do with dropping another knight on the board before I play that smith card to upgrade two knights so I'll, I'll wait a wee while before I do that okay there's a stone so I'm getting that free resource card each time the dice is rolled and it's not a seven and I don't get a resource because I've unlocked that level three on the old oh I can't remember the name of it Brown sneaking around onto my island there, so so there is a risk actually. I'm not not massively far ahead. I really need to be aiming for longest road at this stage now, because I can do that. So I'm going to say no to that. I don't know what was rolled. Okay, I need three roads basically. Let's try and get some logs. Well, no, Brown's not even got a logging. Com let's let's see who's got logs. Nobody. That was horrible. Okay. Let's activate that knight. Let's use. Can I use my smith? Hmm. It's, it's a bad time to use the smith card. But what I can do is do two bricks for two two coins, upgrade that, and now I can upgrade both knights to level three knights. It's disconnected me. Great stuff. The, I've noticed it does this. It disconnects me when I do moves really quickly as such. Um, didn't feel that quick, but right, so I'm back in. Okay, let's do that. Upgrade that to a level three. Let's upgrade that to a level two. I should be taking that victory point to put me on 17 when the, the Barbarians raid, unless somebody steals, uses a deserter card on my knight. Um, 
what was rolled a three? Well, I'll, I'll take a log anyway. That was horrible playing. Oh, Master Merchant. Oh, you're joking. You've really hammered me there, Brown. Okay. What have you unlocked? Oh, no, that's okay then. Right, I, I really need to focus on getting that longest road off Brown. That, that's got to be my focus now for those extra two points. And it should be very doable. I just need a two to be rolled. I don't know what, what's the chance of rolling a two. Very slim. Well, I don't think a two... Has a two even come up all game yet? Oh, it's come up twice. You sabotaged me. Not even playing computer and you sabotaged me. Right, there's, there's sort of two routes to victory I can foresee. Dropping a settlement on that small island will give me two points, because you get two points for every settlement on every different island. So that'll be nice. Oh, I could upgrade this knight again. I'm just going to pass on this. I'm not going to rush anything. I'm just going to see what my options are because I've got time before the barbarians come around again. So let's just see what the options are to what I can do. I can just drop another settlement on there for two points. That would be superb. But I'll have to do it all within one move, sort of put the ship down and drop the settlement down, because I, I imagine Brown will quickly try and block, block me on that. Oh, it's going to be a race to this 20 point mark. Okay, can it be done? We're about to see. Okay, so I'm going to have to use that spy card straight away. Let's play that. Let's play it on Brown. I don't, I'm not fussed about using the winning card. Let's play, let's get rid of, let's do the irrigation. Okay. Now let's swap two haze for a log. Let's drop a ship. Oh no! Oh, that's horrible. Okay, let's not do that. Let's swap. Two stones for a log. Oh no, what am I messing about at? Let's swap two bricks and two stones for two coins. Upgrade that path, give myself a third metropolis. Okay, that stopped me on 18 points. Now I need to really get the longest road. So Play the merchant card onto the sheep. There we go. Let's um, swap two sheep for a log. One there. One there. And that's really all I can do. I don't know why I couldn't build a ship there earlier. I don't know what what was stopping me, actually. I need to sort of look at that. Oh, you, you want me to gift you two cards, do you? You can have a hay and a stone. There you go. So all I need is a brick, and I've secured myself the victory. How many knights has Brown got? Brown's got two knights, I've got five. So I will be taking that victory point on the Barbarian Raid. But that's not a secure victory. Really, I want to, to get the two points. Have I done it? I think I've done it. No, not quite. 
because I thought I still need a, a brick. Oh, disgusting. Look at that, five, five knights. So I, all I need is a brick. Nope, not interested in that. You just want a brick. Oh, well, alchemist, that'll do it. What am I going to play the alchemist on? I'll play it on the five. Get two bricks, two haze, and take take Brown's last card off him before I do that. Play the bishop on Brown. So cruel. Okay, cool. Um, I didn't really need to do that because I just need to put that road there. Gives me the longest road, plus two victory points. Okay, well done. Job done. Right. Um, getting a bit distracted there throughout that game. Is there anything significant learning? Not really. I think. I think. I, I don't think I would have won had Red quit out. I think Red would have would have easily taken that. Um, yeah. Good game. Good fun. Okay. That's me over and out. <laughs> Done.